It's raining really loud outside. I hope it's not too noisy and distracting for you guys, but it's been raining all day and I've really wanted to film this video, so I just thought I'd go ahead with it. So today I'm going to be sharing a great way to make your own natural perfume. This is something that I really enjoy doing. It's so much fun playing around with all the different smells and personalizing it to your own taste. And you also get to avoid all the nasty chemicals that are in store-bought perfumes, so that's great. So it's actually a lot simpler than you might think. You just need a base oil or a base alcohol. And if you're using an oil, jojoba oil is really good because it's close to the skin's natural sebum and it just holds smells really well. And if you're using an alcohol, vodka is really good because it, you know, it doesn't have much of a smell to it and you can get quite pure versions of it. But any pure alcohol will be good for this. To make the scent, I'm using essential oils. And if you don't have many essential oils yourself, you could always borrow your friends. You just need a small amount or you could go down to a local store that has a selection. And if they have testers, you could ask to pay a few dollars to use a small amount of some of the testers. And that's a great way to not have to buy your own new essential oils when you're using such a small amount of them. And then there are some things that need to be taken into consideration to make the perfume smell nice when you're mixing together the essential oils. So the first thing is the proportion of essential oil that you're using. And a good rule is about 15% essential oil for a perfume. So for this, I'm using 30 ml of vodka in here. And 15% of that needs to be essential oil. So there's 20 drops of essential oil in one ml. And for this, I need 90 drops of essential oil to make 15% of the solution. So you can just work that out by using those basic numbers. I'll write it down in the description box just so you know. Um, and then you want to mix that together so it's not too intense, it has a nice intensity to it. And then to get a nice body to the smell, you want to be using essential oils that are across the base notes and mid notes and high notes. And there's a good chart that shows which essential oils fit into those different categories. So you can make sure that you use a combination that fit across them. And that just gives it a nice body and depth of smell. So that's really all you need to know to get stuck into it and start mixing things together. And you can just start smelling things and realizing how they work together. For instance, I already know that I really like the smell of frankincense and lavender together. I know that I love vanilla. Um, if you have your favorite essential oils, you can just figure out what other things work well together with them across the different notes. Then you want to choose the container that you're going to be storing it in. And preferably you'll have one that's opaque or translucent. That just stops so much light from going through, stops it from going rancid and oxidizing and things like that. So you can just keep it out of the sunlight, store it in a darker place. And I'm going to be doing that with mine because I wanted to use this perfume bottle that I got from a thrift shop. And I don't have a darker spray bottle at the moment. But if you don't have a bottle yet, definitely choose one that is darker. For my perfume, I'm using some vodka as the base, some vanilla extract, frankincense oil, vetiver oil, lavender oil and tangerine oil. So I'm pouring 30 ml of vodka into a glass bowl and you want to make sure you're using glass to mix it, not metal or plastic because it can interact with the smell. And then when you're adding your essential oils, you want to add them from the base notes to the mid notes to the high notes in that order and you'll just get a good feel of the smell of it. So I'm starting with adding 12 drops of frankincense oil into my vodka and then I'm adding about 4 drops of the vetiver oil and I really love this, it's got such a woody smell. Next, I'm adding two thirds of a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and that's about 55 drops. Vanilla extract, you want to make sure you're using one that's in an alcohol, and it's easy to make it yourself. You just need to get a small glass container, put a vanilla pot in there, fill it up with vodka, close it tightly, and then leave it for a couple of months until the smells and the flavors infuse into the alcohol. So I'm adding that into my vodka. Then I'm adding about 12 drops of lavender oil. And lastly, six drops of tangerine oil. Once it's mixed together, I'm getting my bottle. So as I said, I got this from a thrift shop and I wanted to keep it intact. So you can actually take off the original lid. You just need to pop down the little spray nozzle and pull it off and then get some pliers and just kind of wiggle off this outer plastic casing. And then you can come in with some smaller pliers and peel off that metal little lid that's on the inside. That can take a couple of minutes, um, but once it's off you can put it all back on again and it stays really tight and it's great. So once I've cleaned out the container, I'm pouring in my new mixture.
and then relitting it. So I'm putting that metal cap on and crimping it back on again and then putting back on the plastic casing and the little spray nozzle. And then I'm just shaking it up and storing it for a couple of weeks in my cupboard, just going past and shaking it every now and then. This just helps it to infuse together nicely before we use it. I would definitely recommend leaving it for a couple of weeks because I think it makes it smell a lot nicer. So yeah, then if you're storing it, once you start using it, just keep it out of direct sunlight um, and keep it out of extreme fluctuations in temperature and that will just help it to maintain its quality longer. It's the difference between months versus years of shelf life. Um, and the other thing I would recommend is when you're experimenting with your oils, make sure you write down what you're adding just in case you get a really nice combination and you've forgotten the proportions of things that you put into it. So I will write down below some different combinations that smell really nice together and I wish you guys luck with experimenting with this if you do try it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.